Hey guys, what's going on? I'm about to head to work and take the girls to school. I want to give you guys a quick reminder to check out the Biospawn and Dr. Dan giveaway going on right now. It ends on Friday. I'll draw a winner on that Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you guys. Bye. Bye. What's going on, guys? Back again with the Pearl Unboxing. If you guys haven't checked out the regular unboxing, definitely check that one out. You'll hear me say in that video next month, guys, it is slam time. We'll be doing the slams next month. Boat will be done really soon. Should be done, hopefully, maybe by the time you see this, this video here. I was just waiting on the proof to get the uh, the tailgate and the numbers on the boat. So we should be already good to go. So hopefully we are by the time you see this. Let's get into the box. First up we have Slim Shad D9. This goes for $15.99 by Lucky Craft. We got this in the regular box as well. Pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Shad Wrap. D9 Pearl Threadfin Shad. I'd put this on either um, like a 6'6 jerkbait crankbait rod or like a 7 foot, that medium plus that I like so much. Uh, 10 12 pound test, like a 6 or 7 speed reel, just depends how I'm working the bait. If I'm going to use that like a jerkbait or kind of like a crankbait, just crank it down. Got rattles. Sticky sharp hooks. Pretty cool. Good time of year for that bait as well. Water's still pretty cold. Next up. Oh, cool. I used to throw these all the time. Deep fat free shad. 17 to 19 foot. Was it like BD? Yeah, BD8. Pretty cool. It was there in the package. If I didn't say this goes for $6.99. Bomber makes a really nice crank. Let's see here. Bam shad. Now I really don't crank this deep anymore, so I don't even have a rod. What's this? What's this way? Oh, here it is right here. Okay, three quarter ounce. Now the my crankbait rod is um, it's a medium plus, but it has a three quarter ounce tip on it. And you know what? It could have a five eighth ounce tip on it. You know what? It's right here. So let me look. Now this medium plus here, it is rated three quarter. Some of your mediums are rated five eighths. This one is three quarter. Now that being said, this rod will handle this um, this deep fat free shad here. But me personally, I don't like to overload the tip, even though it's rated for three quarter. When you put like the max weight on there, to me the rod's not nearly as, nearly as accurate. I would put this on a heavy, which the heavy I have is not actually a crankbait rod. It's um, it's a worm jig rod, but it still has a softer action to it. So I could get away with using it, not one that I would prefer to use. But in a pinch, that's the rod that I would go for because it has that softer action. But uh, just look for a crankbait rod that can handle, you know, I would we'll go one that would handle, you know, um, ounce to maybe ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half. And you got to think too, though, you're going to want a longer rod. You know, the seven foot rod is not going to get you even close to max depth. You're going to want, you know, that seven six to um, maybe even like seven ten deep diving crankbait rod to be able to launch this as far as you'll need to to get that max depth. So, um, you know, just look for um, a cranker rod that can handle the weight and it's got the length to get you that max depth. As far as line goes, you know, you're going to want a smaller pound test to get you that depth. If you're trying to get down to 17 to 19 foot and you put on 20 pound test, there's no way you're going to reach that depth. You know, even if you make a really long cast, you're going to need that lighter diameter line, you know, probably anywhere from 10 to 12 pound test is what I would recommend. Definitely fluorocarbon, you're going to want that sinking line to achieve that depth. I should probably have like a radio show. I could just talk forever. There it is there. These usually have rattles. Yep. Bomber they do. They make some, some awesome cranks. So. Alright. On to the next bait. This is the Lunker Hunt Hatch Spin. This goes for $6.99. Wow, this is a one ounce weight. Or one ounce um, lure here. Letters there in the package. I'd imagine you would fish this just like a spoon. Uh, the, hex, the hatch spin excels in heavy current deep water and when long casts are required. Now I really don't do much deep spooning or whatever you want, you want to call it, but um, you would use that type of setup. You're going to want you know, a cranking type rod just because you got one little treble hook on here. If you're fishing deep and all that, you don't want too powerful of a rod or you'll tear out those hooks. You know, you don't want something soft, you know, like um, like, like a cranking rod, you know, use, uh, again, for the weight, if you're just dropping it down, you can get away with a, with a rod 
that um, is not rated at an ounce. So if you have like a medium or medium heavy crank around that's only rated three quarter, if you're just dropping it down, you can get away with using it for this bait here and just, you know, work it off the bottom. You know, I'd use like a seven speed reel and anywhere from, you know, 10, 15 pound test fluorocarbon, something like that. But uh, good looking big. From there we have the VNM. Straight wild worm. This goes for $5.79. Color is black blue. Good color for me. There it is there in the package. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got two in here. That's different. I like that. Looks like that'd be a good like dragon type worm. What's that called? Straight wild worm. Huh, I'm gonna play around with that. Kinda got like a keel to it. Should swim real nice. If you guys can see that, that tail's kinda tapered. Small body though, so you can't use too big a hook. You probably still get like a four out in that bait. Four to five out. Huh, I'll have to play around with that, see what kind of action it has. It doesn't really have like a curly tail type action, but with a keel like that, I'd imagine it still can have some type of like maybe a wobble or a swim to it. Could be a good dragging type worm. Something you can drag on the bottom. You can put that on a football head and drag it. You can just drag a Texas rig around, Carolina rig. To try it out, I'm just going to Texas rig it and see if it has a, some type of swimming type action. I'd put that on a seven foot uh, heavy power rod, you know, 15 pound fluorocarbon, six speed, seven speed reel, and just play around with that reel. Like I said, I'm not even sure what kind of action this worm is going to have. It may even say here on the, on the package. Uh, it doesn't really say what it's going to do. Yeah, let's have to play around with this one to see what kind of action that it has, and we'll just go from there. But that's what I would just start off with. I'd go with the Texas rig and um, see how she works. Good looking worm, though. I'm really uh, looking forward to trying this worm out. Black and blue always works well in that stained and muddy water. All right, again, that goes for $5.79. Then we have the Swagger Worm by Buda Bates. Green Pumpkin, this goes for $5.49. If I'm ever going to buy like, you know, a new soft plastic and try out new colors, you know, green pumpkin, black and blue, that's two uh, good ones to start with. That's got a strong scent. Okay, that looks like, uh, you'll just break that tail apart there, I believe so. That looks kind of like, um, like a Zoom Speedworm, something like that, or also kind of like the, um, the Cut R Worm from Striking. I really like that one. Looking bait there. I would just again Texas rig this, and um, you know you could, you could probably throw this weightless and uh, use it as a top water or just Texas rig it and swim it. That's how I run those cut R worms. I just like putting a you know like a four out offset worm hook on there, quarter ounce weight, and I just kind of swim those around through grass. That's probably what I'll do with this one or try that on top water. Seven foot medium heavy rod. Um, you know, since you're using it for, if you said you're reeling it, it's a bait that you can get away with using fluorocarbon. But um, if you choose to use it for top water, you know, 12, 15 pound test fluorocarbon, um, I'd use the same if I'm going to swim it on a Texas rig. You know, like I said, four rot. Uh, I try a round bin offset, but the, the upper portion here is kind of fat. You may want to go with an extra wide gap hook. If you're going to swim it along, you know, Texas rig, a uh, quarter ounce weight is what I'd probably start with. And, um, you know, six speed, seven speed reel, something like that. Good look worm, though. Can't wait to get on the water and try out some of these new baits. Cool, cool. All right, last up we have, oh, this hook may even work, actually. One of those baits. That's a pretty long hook, though. I don't know. This one is a big bite, soft plastic hook. This goes for $1.99. It is a two-pack, five-aught. You know, if you put too big a hook in a worm, you'll just kill, kill the action of it. Let's see how this one looks here. Round bent offset. Now this one does have a bigger gap than normally what I, I'm used to seeing. Let's see real fast if it would pair up well with this V&M worm. Now you could, with the V&M worm, it comes right to the bottom of the body. So you could rig that up on here. You know, this section here is not going to have much action. 
really any action at all. And that Buddha base worm, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's plenty of gap too. Now you gotta think on this worm though, you're coming to you know middle of the body. But the action's back here, so you're really not gonna affect the action too much on this bait as well. So you could get away with using this hook for both of those baits. I'm gonna try it out, see how it works. But uh, if it's if the hair too big for you guys, then go down to a four out. But at least you got a hook in the box to, uh, to start out with. So pretty cool deal. I believe that's it for the baits there. What else we got in here? We got the get her out. We got the Ketchco sticker. Then we got the Dibble Digest. Five ways fish jerk bait, go slow for bluegills, crankbaits 101, and banging cover. Always some good info in there, guys. Definitely check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon.